Effects of the Moral Acts, a read aloud with Mr. Martini. Hello everyone, Mr. Martini here, and in this video I'm going to be reading aloud Effects of the Moral Acts. Please follow along with your graphic organizer. Agriculture was becoming more of a business as farmers increasingly grew food for the market at the same time as industry was growing. To train professionals for both agriculture and industry, there was a growing call for publicly supported agriculture and mechanical colleges. The Morrill Land Grant Colleges Act of 1862, put forth during the Civil War by Justin Smith Morrill of Vermont, offered, offered states a federal, mm, sorry, offered states a federal land grant to build schools that would teach and promote scientific farming and engineering. States received 30,000 acres of public land per congressional representative, a policy that gave more land to more populous states. Colleges, found, colleges founded on this land had to teach science, classics, agriculture, mechanics, and military tactics. In 1890, a second Morrill Act was passed to extend the benefits of land-grant funding to African-American students. It required states either to admit students of all races to their land-grant colleges or to set up separate land-grant colleges for African-Americans. Upholding segregation, the South created separate colleges for African-Americans and white students. Many of these agricultural colleges grew into historically black colleges and universities serving African Americans in the South. Both of the Morrill Acts had important effects on the country. Private colleges were expensive. The new public schools were more affordable. They made college more available to Americans and affirmed that the government would play a role in supporting higher education. Private colleges also did not teach the practical skills that many Americans needed to find jobs. Land-grant colleges emphasized the training and skills needed in an agricultural and industrial society. The first land-grant college to open was the University of Massachusetts. Large universities also formed in the West and Midwest. Thank you for following along with me. If you have any questions or would like to discuss any of the topics that we read about today, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks, and have a great day.